What's up everybody? We are at the Hinsdale house with Off Grid Paranormal and my buddy Carl. Um, everybody's over here unpacking. We're getting ready to do a little little tour and uh, Dan's gonna give us some history. But there it is. We are here. We are here. You see the, the pond in the back. There they are. She's got look at she's got all the food. We got steaks. Got steaks. What are we cooking? Steaks and steak. oh, <laughs> off grid paranormal. <laughs> well, woo woo! What's up, Dan? What's up? So we're gonna get our stuff and then we'll see you inside. So this family came here and they thought this was gonna be their dream home away from the city and pond and be a great place to, to raise kids. And uh, immediately, what started happening is they started having uh, things happening like. Uh, doors opening with little little subtle things and then it got to the point where um, kids were being physically harmed and then poltergeist like activity was happening in the house and uh, they were seeing creatures on the outside that they couldn't explain they started seeing shadow figures a woman in white out by the pond dancing around the pond uh, numerous people saw it um, they would they would see an entity or who they thought was a person on the outside of the house and they'd run outside to see who it is and then they'd look back in the window and see the same type of person inside the house and disappear. So there's been numerous counts of different things. by myself everybody went outside they're eating lunch so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and show you around and maybe see if something wants to talk to us alone so let's go upstairs see what's up here last night um, tried to sleep outside but I heard something get attacked in the wood line and it didn't sound pleasant so it's like, nope, I'm not staying out there by myself. So I came inside. But this is Mary's room. This is where Heather slept last night. Oh, look, you see everybody out there eating, eating their lunch. These dolls are creepy. And look, the flies. Let's see if they can wave to me. Let's see. There you are. <laughs> yeah, they're all eating lunch. Which I'm getting hungry, so I should probably eat too, but. Then they say there's a portal somewhere in here, but I don't know. So, here we are. Anybody in here want to talk to me? I'm all alone. Can hear them talking outside. Can 
Can you make some kind of noise or a sound? Here, fly. There's lots of flies in here now. So last time I was here, I was I did a Nick Croft um, experiment event, and uh, me and my friend Carl were in Mary's room, right over there. And we were sitting on the bed, and I got really, really dizzy. Um, never happened to me before, except for this location. But I was sitting down. It was weird. Just felt like I was really dizzy, and I wanted to throw up. But it's only there for a couple seconds, then it went away. So, was it a spirit? I don't know. Something inter trying to interact with me? Maybe. But it only happened for a few seconds. It's very quiet. Did a little boy die on this property? Right out by the pond? Is his spirit still lingering the land? You want to know the truth behind some of these stories we hear? Maybe you can help us. Hmm. Very quiet to see your flies. Let's go downstairs. I'm getting hungry, so I might actually get some food and get back to you guys in a little bit. Let's go down here. I'll show you the other room. I think they that's where they had the exorcism performed a long time ago. And I think it was the 70s. I can't remember. So there's the first floor, second floor, basement. There's a myth about them storing uh, bodies down in the basement. And maybe in the attic, but there's no real truth to it. But yeah, we were, we were flying the drone earlier. I got some dominoes set up over here. No meter. Some more creepy dolls. Some toys. But it's, it's really quiet right now, so I'm going to get something to eat. And maybe we'll see one of these later. A ghost. Right, I'll be back. See you later.